WBIR is celebrating 40 years of Straight from the Heart. We've shared stories highlighting the best of East Tennessee and its people and the heartaches and challenges along the way. And most recently, of course, the COVID-19 pandemic proved deadly and devastating, but we found hope through a vaccine. Life as we knew it prior to March 11, 2020, has for the most part returned. We're traveling and gathering, but still the mention of the word pandemic floods many with memories of isolation, separation, and fear. As the world navigated the unknown, researchers and pharmaceutical giants wasted no time developing vaccines to protect against the deadly coronavirus. The effort was obviously uh, something that was unprecedented. We Dr. Bill Smith is the founder of the Knoxville-based Alliance for Multi-Specialty like Research. The lab headed up a host of clinical trials brain. to study the vaccines and their impact on people willing to get the experimental shot. At AMR, we did a, approximately 10,000 people in COVID vaccine studies across the company, and we had never seen anything like that that volume of participants that we had to find and, and collect data on in any of the projects we had done previously. I'm walking into this hospital because the path to a successful COVID-19 vaccine could begin here. I was one of the participants in the Pfizer COVID vaccine trial and documented my journey from first dose. You ready? Mm -hmm to side effects. My arm where I had the injection is much more sore today than it was yesterday. To the second dose. Through follow-up blood draws, researchers studied the findings with the ultimate goal of getting a safe vaccine to the masses in record time. By late 2020, they delivered. The first shipment of the vaccine was shipped to Knox County in December. And the first shots followed into the arms of health care providers at UT Medical Center. The COVID vaccine rollout expanded to the most vulnerable senior adults. Today, people six months and older can get the shot. Dr. Smith says the world of science accomplished its mission. Dramatically reduced the hospitalization rate. It dramatically reduced the community effects of COVID and has helped us return to a much more normal life a whole lot faster. Going forward, Dr. Smith says the insight gained from COVID vaccine research will lead to new medical breakthroughs. Right now, clinical trials are underway to develop one vaccine that protects against COVID and the flu. We are going to see continued um, development of these new technologies into not just communicable diseases, but cancer and and possibly even into to other areas as well. And Dr. Smith says we're actually in the golden age of vaccines mm -hmm. right now. For example, the National Institutes of Health reports an mRNA vaccine against pancreatic cancer. It created a strong anti-tumor immune response 